Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. It is April 12th, 11 a.m. in the morning. And um, I figured I'd do a, a, a repeat tutorial. I had done a tutorial on enhancing um, photographs and so on, uh, whether you're going to use them in Photoshop, Corel, Affinity Designer. Uh, whenever we do an image uh, project for someone, whether it's going on a keychain or a mug or whatever, we always run the image through um, enhancement. And it's a simple procedure. It's a really cool procedure. Uh, and the software we're using and the software I'm gonna show you today is um, is free. It is available, these type of uh, enhancements, if you're using Photoshop or Corel or Affinity. Um, but I like this program because it's very user-friendly. It's very simple to understand, very simple to use. And there's a variety of many different things uh, you can use uh, this program for. So um, you're going to see me do this a lot. So you can see where I'm pointing to with the mouse. All right. But I wanted to give you an idea of <clears throat> some of the images that we worked on uh, to give you an example. So let's take a look at this. This was on our Facebook page group uh, about a week or two ago. And it, it really is a nice image, okay? But um, it's lacking depth in color, all right? And this is a, a beautiful image. And wait till you see what we did with the enhancement. This morning, I had a member that I spoke to on the phone. She was having problems with this image, okay? And so I had her email me the image. And uh, she said that the, the lady was coming out too dark. And so I had her email me the image so I can run it through our system, print it out, you know, on our sublimation printer. And I discovered, too, that the image was dark, you know, that the lady herself was dark. So it was not her settings. It's not her computer. It wasn't her printer. It's just the way that <clears throat> when she had taken this image from wherever she got it from, the way that her print program was interpreting it. So we enhanced it and she's on her way uh, to completing a job. So um, <clears throat> I'll give you an idea. All right, let's go back to the dragonfly. Now here's the dragonfly before enhancement, okay? And so I wanted to bring out, you know, this here, the, uh, the, the pinkish color, the individual colors in the dragonfly's wings. I mean, this is really a nice image. Here's what we did. And then I'll show you how to do it. All right. Here it is enhanced. Okay. Now, of course, you know, the level of enhancement is um, variable. I, you can, and I'll show you in the software, uh, it might be too colorful, so you can tone it down a little bit, but it just gives you an idea of what we can do with this program. And so again, I'm going to go back to this image. <clears throat> she was a little too dark. You know, uh, the original image, the member uh, said uh, the lady was, you know, had a much lighter skin. So we ran it through the program. And that's what we came up with in a matter of uh, basically a minute. Okay. So, like I said, you can take the program that we're going to show to you. You can do many, many things with it. Uh, it's free. Yes, there is a pro version. Um, I've been using this program for several years now, and I have never, ever upgraded to pro. There was no reason for me to. All right. I'm very happy with how the, the program works. So, the program I'm going to talk to you about today is FOTOR, which is F-O-T-O-R, Photo Editor. Okay, and <clears throat> it is available for both Windows. Here's the free download, you know, for Windows. It is also available for Mac, as you can see. All right, excellent, excellent program. All right, so let's minimize this. Get it out of the way. You're going to go to the website, download the program, the free version. You're going to install it, and when you open it up, you're going to have this screen. This is your workspace, 
right here, okay? And until you put an image in here, none of these are going to light up, okay? None of these are going to, you know, light up. If you want to buy the pro version, here's the, the link, and you click on that to buy the pro version. But like I told you, I've been using this for many years, and I've never, ever um, uh, bought the pro version. So let's get started. You click here to start. And I always put my images on the desktop, the ones that I'm going to work on. So I don't have to go fishing, you know, looking in downloads or, you know, recent or documents, whatever. I put it on the desktop so it's much easier for me to find. Okay. So I'm going to pick the Dragonfly image. Click open. And there it is. Okay. Now, the first thing I do is I always, you'll see that the word none is highlighted. But let's go to auto. You can see how the photo already changed. Okay. Um, nice color and so on. But let's say you want to um, enhance it. There's so many different options in here in this uh, uh, category list alone. And we're going to just run through them really quick. But I'll show you what we do. You've got the backlit option. You can darken it, give it the cloudy effect, shade, sunset, night, flash, fluorescent, portrait, sand and snow. That's a nice one. There you go. Landscape, theater mode, food. Okay. Let's go back up to none. All right. I'm going to click on auto. And from here, now, in this column here, you can crop a photo, okay? So you just hit crop, hit crop, and, of course, um, drag it, you know, do whatever you want, all right? So I don't want to crop the photo, so I'm going to hit done. And over here is all your different, <clears throat> you know, settings, so you can automatically crop. But... um. I go to adjust. Now, whenever you see this diamond here, now go down here, go down here. That's for the pro version. Okay. You're not able to use these if you want, um, uh, you know, to do uh, detail noise reduction and so on. All right. So I go to basic. Here is a very simple self-explanatory, you know, section. And let's take a look at it. They're all defaulted at zero. All right. So let's go to exposure. Take a look at the screen. Now you take your mouse. And as you can see, as I go back and forth, I can adjust the exposure. And eh, let's bring it and leave it at 20 just to see. You have your brightness, very self-explanatory. All right. And again, all right. And I'm going to bring it around four. All right. Again, everybody's eyes are different. So, you know, you would just <clears throat> figure out what's best suited for you, depending on what you're putting it on, whether it be a slate, a tile, a T-shirt, a keychain, a license plate, whatever. The contrast button. If you move back and forth, you could see how the detail in the pink leaves, you know, uh, are a little bit more accentuated all right vibrance which deals with the vibrance in colors all right move it back and forth and if you look at the pebbles in the background you can see how the color uh vibrance is is, is coming out in this saturation again move it back and forth that little too pink there you go all right now Again, these things here, I mean, you can go into detail. Um, <clears throat> you can go into levels and, and, and change things from highlights to shadows, uh, the big net setting, all right, scale, feather. All of this you can experiment with, all right? I just wanted to give you a quick crash course uh, tutorial. Um, the effects. I, I love the effects category. Again, here's your paid version stuff, okay? so. Uh, let's pick cinematic, all right? 
Again, you can, you know, the, here's none. You can click lucid, gloaming, whatever the heck that means, distant. But we're going to go back down to none. All right. Classic. You've got all of your <clears throat> um, different settings in, um, in classic. Uh, Lomo, mono, all of that stuff. Borders. Really cool if you're doing slates, tiles, mugs. Um, let's just pick the simple category. You guys can go through the stamp and styled and everything else. But when you open up the simple, you've got a nice 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 different, you know, I'm sorry, 18 different um, settings. Um, let's pick charcoal just, just to, you know, for um, pips and giggles. And there you go. You can see you can add a border. You can do a frosted border, uh, just black, uh, jet white, you know, misty gray. Again, you know, simple um, add-ons, um, seabed, all right? Um, <clears throat> you could do whatever you want and then go back down to none, all right? Um, textures, again, you'll experiment with them. Um, you can experiment with focus. I go to text. What's really cool about the text here, we're going to add text. Okay. And, um, let's move it in over here for a second. And, uh, we're just going to type in aces deals. All right. Now you can highlight your text. You can bold it. You can change the size of the text. Whoa. Sorry about that, folks. That happens every now and then. Come on. I hope I don't have to do this over. I'll really be angry. <laughs> Give me a second. Oh, come on. I'm going to lose this file. Sorry about that, folks. Okay, wait a minute. Yes, I want to change. Okay. Cancel. I'm back. Okay. Cancel. All right. So, you know, you can add text and then you can also make it any color you want. Change it. Yellow, blue, purple, red. Let's go with yellow for a minute. All right. <clears throat> you can change the font, of course. Oh, boy, it's acting up on me today. All right. I don't know what went wrong there, but I apologize. But um, this is uh, a, a great program to use. Um, you can, there you go. <clears throat> go back up to scenes. A great program to use when you're all done. You can export it as a JPEG, a PNG, whatever it is you want to do. Down here in the bottom here, you can magnify, you can demagnify. I can turn the image left or right, okay? Um, you can compare. You can reset everything back to the original, you know, whatever you want to do. So, but um, we're going to save this for a minute because I'm going to show you something. You hit the home button. Do I want to save this photo? Yes. Save. And I'm saving it to my desktop. All right. Now, I want to show you something really quick before we end this tutorial. Here, we were just in photo editor. If you go to collage, this is really great when you're doing multiple pictures. Okay. So, um, let's say we're dealing with four pictures. All right. You click on the four, and I always use the um, the ratio of, you know, four to three, okay? And then over here, you have templates of how you want the four images to be laid out. Let's click on that for a minute. We've got the four images. Let's click add. We're going to pick the, the dragonflies and the two other photos. There they are. Now, here's what we can do. I'm just giving you an example. Here, and you can move it up and down. There's my before. There's my after. So you can see a comparison. All right. Here is the before. Oops. Wrong one. So let's get rid of that one. Put that. 
went back. Oh, there's the, I'm sorry, there it is. That's the after. And here is the before. You can see the difference. You can see the difference. I love this program. It works awesome. Um, if you go to the corner tool here, look at the corners. You see the corners right here. Look at the corners. See? Great if you're designing a mug or something, all right? You can change the width, okay? Colors. I could do whatever I want. I pick a color. <clears throat> there you go. All right. You can go to borders. And again, if you're in the pro version, <clears throat> you're going to have, um, you know, more borders and, and, and more, you know, things to choose from. Uh, you're doing five pictures, six pictures, seven pictures you know, up to nine pictures, all right? You have your ratios. Like I said, I always work with four-thirds. And um, I, again, a very cool program. Um, let's hit yes to save. And we'll just leave it at that name, okay? And there you go, all right? Then, let's say you're doing a mug. We're going to launch Mug Animator really quick. For those of you who don't have this program, this is an awesome program. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Powell, you got to set the default on this to rotate slow. <laughs> so anyway, let's load this picture. I'm just going to do a mug really quick just to give you an idea. All right. I'm going to pick the collage, hit open. I'm going to stretch it out. This is what I'm talking about when you're making a mug. I mean, look at that. It's just absolutely awesome. Photor Photo Editor in conjunction with Mug Animator in conjunction with your imaging program. In our case, we use Affinity Designer and it's just fantastic. All right. And, you know, um, this program is really, really cool because, I mean, you can do a lot with it. I just added the background. You see the light here. There's a light shining. I can shut the light off. So you can, you know, take the glare off the cup so you can show it to a customer. All right. So this program, too, available at muganimator.com. You can download the free version. It is, um, what do you call it, limited. Uh, the pro version, which I think is $20 or something. I'm not sure. I mean, you can add a watermark, um, you know, uh, do whatever you want. So I'm just going to add the... This is not my watermark, but I'm just going to add it. All right. Oh, <laughs> clear background. And I want the watermark there. Apply. And there's my watermark. All right. Um, you don't have to do it. It's, it's up to you. So anyway, hope this helped you out. Um, this is Peter from Ace's Deal, Sublimation Central. I want you guys to have a great weekend. And if you need anything, please visit our website at www.acesdeals.net. I'm in the office six days a week. If you guys need to talk to me by phone, I prefer phone than instant messaging. I really do. I'm able to help you better. And you guys know you can reach me directly at the office at 631-730-7228. I am available from 9 to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. Saturdays from 10 to 3, I have to take a break. So have a great day, guys. I hope that this helped you out a little bit. And um, start posting some pictures of your enhancements. And let me know if this video helped you out. Have a great day, guys. Bye.